Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm back and I'm opening up some really cool rare corals from zoanthids.com. These are corals that um, I kind of saw on their website and I just couldn't help myself. Um, I couldn't find these anywhere and I've been to Reef of Belooza. I live in Orlando so I've gone for every year for like four years. I've been to uh, Macna and I haven't seen anything quite like these corals. So I decided to give it a shot. Um, I've ordered corals online pretty frequently um, when my local fish stores don't really have anything I want uh, or are too pricey. I'll go online to see if I can get better deals, higher end corals, um, stuff you wouldn't normally see here. And this stuff I cannot find here nor at Worldwide Corals nor at all the fish stores I've seen here. So um, just a special shout out and I'd to soentence.com and I wanted to uh, reiterate that this is not uh, a paid review um, I'm just simply doing this out of uh, respect for the company and because I truly love how they packaged everything and how they sent everything to me so let's get started we're gonna talk about the packaging first and uh, if you have any questions at all just put them in the comment section below All right, guys, so I am currently in front of the seven gallon um, tank in my room, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about the packaging that the coral, uh, that the zoanta.com um, company used. So they used this uh, hard plastic um, little specimen cup, and I think this is amazing. Like, not many people do it in our hobby, and I don't know why. Like, everyone sends things in baggies, and baggies are prone to leaking a lot more than something that's a little tougher is. Um, but this can still leak in a way, but the way it was packaged, it's it's not going to leak. Um, and it's just nicer. Like, this actually protects your corals, and if we actually take a look at how they did it on the inside... Uh, I think I've seen this in one other place, and that's with uh, Fish of Hex, and he has, they have this little, um, you know, if you can see that, this is like little foam, so they put the coral in here and invert it upside down, so this floats, it's less dense than water, it floats to the top, and the coral is inverted downwards so that um, the pop doesn't touch the bottom, it doesn't touch the sides, and it has no room to really wiggle around in here during shipping and that minimizes chances of uh, hard corals mainly breaking off or um, you know anything like that. It just makes for a more stable ride and I just thought that the attention to detail in the packaging was amazing. Literally not many people do this. Um, having these little containers is awesome. They, I think I got, I do this myself sometimes. I'll frag my zoos and give them to people and I have little specimen cups and for like 50 of them it cost me 20 bucks. So they're very, very cheap. They would add nothing to the cost, especially some of these bigger companies that um, ship them out in bags. They should really just uh, switch it because these things are also reusable. So I'm sure if you get one of these uh, from a pack, a shipment of coral or a couple of these, like you're gonna reuse them for food cups, for frozen food, whatever the, the case may be. They're reusable more so than the bags. Once the holes in the bottom of the bag, like it's unusable. Whereas this has to crack and it takes quite a lot of force to crack one of these. Um, so just a little note, this is while the um, corals are acclimating and uh, they're acclimating in front of the 50 gallon lagoon right now. And the uh, Zoenta.com people were nice enough to send me two freebies. And I just think that's uh, freaking awesome. Uh, and I uh, very greatly appreciate it. And uh, I don't know what the freebies are yet until they're open up and in the tank and I can see them and identify them. But uh, I just thought it was uh, very kind of them and just big shout out to Zoanthids.com. Uh, thank you very much guys. And we're gonna see after they're acclimated what they look like uh, inside the tank, so. All right guys, welcome back. We are in front of the 50 gallon Nuvo. It is about one day after I acclimated everything. I acclimated with the lights off and I gave the polyps a chance to open up. So this is the next day what they look like. Um, those are my two freebies. So I have the blue-eyed blondie and the sunny D uh, polyps. And they're looking awesome. And these are the other five polyps that some of them are kind of half open. Some of them aren't really too open. Um, and they're a little small, but those are the pink Krakatoas. Um, looks awesome. 
and I'm really happy to see that those are really open. Then these are the back Bachelorette Party Zoas, I believe. Um, they're really, really nice. They are actually Palithoa, not Zoas. Those are the Snow Owls. A little bit discolored, but that's to be expected because they are adjusting to the system, to the lights. Um, and as well as the Nebulas, the Rose Nebulas, which are a little bit discolored as well. Um, you can't really see what they should look like because they are acclimating and all that stuff. Um, the Emeralds on Fire are not completely open yet. Um, but within the next couple days to a couple weeks, I should be seeing more of the colors come out of them and them adjusting to the lights actually. Um, so we're going to get going with the next um, unboxing because I did make two orders from Zoanthids.com. So we are here in front of the um, of my workstation. This is my desk where I do a lot of my 3D designing, my school work, and uh, I have my 10 gallon Nuvo beside there. So we're gonna get uh, right into it. I have another package that I got from um, their leftover sale. So they did like a big sale on Reef to Reef and a couple other places, and they had some of their leftover stuff on uh, their website. So I actually went and went ahead and got some more very interesting uh, rare zoas that I would not otherwise find here in Orlando. Um, so I went ahead and got those and this time you guys actually get to see um, how the box actually comes I guess. So it's just a cardboard box with a styrofoam box in it and it's um, a little hard to get out at first but it's all okay and it's taped up really really nicely. Um, very strong taping job these guys have and the uh, styrofoam box is also taped up so I have to cut it and um, if you guys do get one of these boxes and you do have to cut it if you go like too far with the knife that's okay like you're not gonna damage any coral or anything like the coral is literally on the bottom of the box um, so no, no real need to worry about stabbing something in there and it's not in a plastic bag as you guys already know they come in uh, hard plastic containers uh, which is awesome so if a knife does go through there uh, they have a little more protection a uh, plastic bag would easily be punctured otherwise um, so I'm just gonna throw fast forward through some of this stuff and I'm going to um, throw all those beans away Alright guys, while we speed through this video, I just wanted to say if you guys have any uh, suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments. Um, so in the package I got Snozberry, Zoanthids, um, I got Suckups, I got Coronas, um, which you'll see in a second, I got uh, Orange Firework Cloves, um, which look very similar to like the Rainbow Cloves, and um, pink zippers and I'm trying to get like a really diverse amount of uh, Zoas and stuff in the tank and I also got Mary Janes um, which I've never seen before like anywhere um, and you'll see it's kind of hard to focus on these things and uh, my roommate Matt's gonna move me in the right direction there um, so yeah so I'm gonna get these acclimated alright so skipping forward two weeks I am going to um, give you my final thoughts, and they are awesome. Uh, the coloration on everything is pretty good. The only downside were the um, snow owls and the rose nebulas, I think they were. Um, but hopefully they'll color up soon. I just got to keep all the parameters in check, you know. Um, I'm going to try and feed them, see if they want to eat a little more. Uh, but overall, great packaging, great um, delivery, great zoanthids from zoanthids.com, and I hope you guys will check them out. Again, I'm not getting paid to review them, um, but I think that they're doing some stuff that everyone in the hobby should do um, with the um, specimen containers and all that stuff. So some more reviews will be coming out soon. Uh, some tank updates, so stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful week, guys.